So hi guys, today I'll share with you guys how I shave my IPPT 2.4 km timing all the way from 13 minutes to 9 minutes plus. So basically, if you want to emulate the same, you have to run at least around 3 to 5 times a day every single week. Yes, that might be difficult for some of you guys who are really working, but if you really really want to take back control of your health, right? You need to uh, commit yourself to start running today and run uh, very frequently. So most of the runs that uh, you do must be slow. Do not sprint uh, every single time you run, right? Do not run for your, uh, your fastest or run for your life or whatever. So most of the runs have to be very, I would say slow, comfortable, whereby you are able to talk and run at the same time. This is, to, uh, this is so, so that you can avoid, number one, avoid, avoid injuries. Uh. Injuries is the most uh, crucial thing so that you will not hinder your continuous training and your quest for health and being able to run consistently yes most runs must be slow so what i do is every single week i will do at least one long run uh, of more than 2.4 kilometers definitely so if you are training for 2.4 try to do a long run of around 3 to 5 kilometers every single day i don't know every single week Rather, as I mentioned, your long run should also be slow and steady and being able to run at your comfortable, at a comfortable pace. So being able to run more than 2.4 km at one go will give you confidence and the, the psychological advantage that you are able to do well for your 2.4 km as well. Next, every single week, I also will dedicate at least one day whereby I do uh, intervals or repeats training. So for example, uh, you are doing uh, running at a stadium whereby a track, one round around a track is around 400 meters. You are able to do some short sprints like one interval can be 400 meters depending on what is the timing that you are chasing for. So you run slightly faster than that and try to do it around 3 to 4 times uh, around the track. And in between, right, what I will do is I will run 400 meter uh, doing at my targeted pace. And in between, I'll have a 200 meter jog rest before I start another set. Another thing that has helped me greatly in improving my timing is hill training. Uh. If you uh, go to free, uh, Bukit Tima hill frequently, right, you will definitely be able to bump into me because I love to run at the hills there. There's one particular stretch where I run up the hill, uh, up in the incline for around 50 seconds, then I do a slow jog back down then after that up again uh, you see uh, see any place near your house uh, where there's a hill uh, it will be great if you are able to do uh, similarly like interval training like some hill repeats up and down the hill and you will see your stamina improve uh, greatly in a matter of weeks okay next so to be able to see whether i have uh, have any improvement in my my 2.4 kilometer timing right i will do a trial test around two to three weeks uh, once every two to three weeks i will say to try not to do trial tests every single week uh, because it will uh, it will affect your training, it will hinder your training structure flow and it will tire you out very very quickly. So if you want to do trial, try to do it around two to three uh, two to three weeks once and see uh, try to record down all the timings that you are able to achieve. And next uh, I realized one thing that has uh, helped to improve my timing and not get so tired so quickly and easily is to avoid fried food. Uh. I have done the test whereby I eat fried food and after I run, then I avoid fried food, then I run, the difference is really significant. So if you are really, really want to improve your timing, try to avoid as much fried and junk food as possible before you take your test in the weeks leading up to it. This is very, very important. So last but not least, I could not advocate for it more, is remember your warm up and cooling down to avoid injuries. So warming up, most of the time, instead of doing static warm-ups, right, I will do dynamic, dynamic warm-ups like uh, jogging around the track first before I start my training or doing some uh, knees, uh, knees touches uh, and hop around the field or also butts up as well. So for cool down, cool down, I will be focusing on more on static stretches like stretching my calf, stretching my uh, thigh and uh, my ankle. So everywhere that needs stretches, right? So all this will greatly aid in your quest to avoid injuries and being able to recover faster. Or if you have a foam roller like what I have, uh, this is my best friend. Uh, <laughs> every day I use it uh, to, to help me to recover faster and 
being able to uh, feel refreshed the next day every single time so these are the things that i wish to share with you on how i managed to improve my ippt timing so significantly from 13 minutes to around 9 minutes to be able to achieve goal in the end and importantly it's not really chasing after the goal the the the, the whatever most important is to chase after your health take back control of your health and stay healthy today so let's keep on running